Hey everybody, so this is going to be my Ipsy bag unboxing for August 2015. This is what the bag looks like. This is the Canada version, by the way, in case you're curious. And how cute is this bag? This is probably one of the cutest bags that we've ever received. I think I've been doing Ipsy for about a year and a half now. I should go back and look, but I think it's been about that long. This one's like um, more of a plasticky material, but as you can see, I have already opened the bag. I've already checked it out. And forewarning, I think the bag is one of the best parts of this month's bag, like everything included, which is not saying a lot for this month. And if you guys watched last month, you'll know that I wasn't a huge fan of last month's either. So I'll go into the products first and then I'll tell you kind of more what I think. But the first thing I see it says, won't you come into the garden? I would like my roses to see you. It's from Richard Brinsley Sheridan. Oh no, that's the quote. But it's a lipstick from Noya. It comes on a little package like this. And it's a little cute little size lipstick. It's pretty decent though. I think that would last you a while. And the color's not bad. I should have actually tried it on my lips. It's very summery. It's like a... A very bright light pink if you know what I mean so I haven't tried that out yet but I, I don't think this is that bad for a product so we're not starting off too too bad so that's the first one the next thing is this nourishing argon oil of Morocco um, this is from Mark Anthony and I'm assuming this is a hair oil yep apply one to three drops on hair so it comes like this it's actually a lot of argon oil and I've tried this brand before, it's a little bit heavy on my hair, so I'm not a huge fan of it, and I have so many oils kind of backed up that it takes forever to go through a hair oil, so. I mean, some people might like that, but it, it just wasn't my favorite. The next is a makeup brush from Marsk. I'll open it for you, I've never heard of Marsk before. It's always nice to get makeup brushes, but this one's pretty generic. Pretty standard, if you know what I mean. That's it there, and it's just a flat um, eyeshadow brush, just like a packing brush. I have lots of these, so again, another reason I wasn't super excited, but if you didn't have a lot of brushes, it might be exciting to you. The next thing I see is from Scone Cosmetics, never heard of them. It's an eye and lip pencil in the color Wine. I don't usually wear lip liners, hardly ever. Um, and I don't know if I'd put that color there on my eyes. So I haven't actually opened it yet. Let's see if it's difficult to open that. Oh, it's not too bad. Maybe I'll swatch it for you guys. Oh, it looks like... I can just tell. I can just tell when I see a pencil that it's going to be... Just kind of dry. Dry pencil crayon style. Not my favorite. I'm sorry guys, as you can tell, I'm very underwhelmed by this month's bag. There's one more product, and it is Trust Fund Beauty. The color is Elegantly Wasted. Interesting. But it's a nail polish. And it's full size, which is nice. I'll give them credit for that. And it's a very pretty lilac color. Um, but as you can tell by looking at my horrible nails, I haven't been painting my nails in months and months and months since since I had my daughter, since well before I had Cassidy. So, although it's pretty, it just, it wasn't suited for me. So, that being said, I'll show you again the nail polish, the lipstick, which was cute, the lip liner, which I won't wear, the eyeshadow brush that I don't need, and the hair oil that I also don't need. So, given this is two months in a row and I haven't been very impressed, I'm wondering two things. I'm wondering if one, I should go in and maybe update um, my criteria because I know that you can kind of pick your preferences and then just cross my fingers and hope that next month is better. Two, I can just leave it as is and hope that it was just kind of two off months because I've had some really great months with the Ipsy. And three is do I cancel and find something else? And I'm kind of leaning towards three just because I like to try new things so I'm gonna ask you guys if you do any kind of makeup subscription services which ones are your favorite I know Ipsy is really cheap at ten dollars a month I'm not I don't have to stick with the ten dollars I'm not wanting to go much above 
2025. I don't want to go crazy, but I don't have to stick at the $10, but I, I do want to try something different, I'm thinking. So if you have something that you love, um, hopefully it ships to Canada. Let me know anyways. I'll look into it to make sure it um, ships to Canada. If not, I could ship to the States. But yeah, that's my thought on this one's Ipsy. I'm sorry it wasn't very exciting. Let me know what you got down in the comment below if you got something different. I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.